I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part 1 on the GRE quantitative fundamentals players. Now today we'll be looking at the arithmetic section and in that we'll be discussing integers. So in this video we will discuss what they are, what are their properties specifically related to multiplication and what are factors in multiples. All right, now to understand integers, let us look at what are natural numbers, counting numbers, whole numbers and so on. Now, natural numbers to understand this, let's look at nature, right? Natural comes from nature. So in nature you can count one flower you can count three chickens you can count four hens you can count a number so natural numbers or counting numbers start from plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and they go on you can't count like minus 4 chickens you can't count that right so you just count plus 4 plus 2 uh, plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on whole numbers are natural numbers right plus the zero so your whole numbers start from here 0 1 2 3 4 and so on now your integers are your whole numbers and their negative counterparts so integers are the whole numbers on the entire number line so you've got minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on so integers will be all the negative numbers 0 and the positive numbers as well now keep in mind that integers are not minus 1.3 and plus 2.4 these are not integers all of the whole numbers right the positive and the negative including the zero are defined as integers now a couple of properties that are important in integers for the gre is this plus into plus will be plus plus into minus or minus into plus right when they're different it will always be minus and minus into minus will always be plus so when the signs are same it's always going to be positive and when the signs are different it's always going to be negative now these properties hold good only for multiplication and division not for addition and subtraction right because if you have plus 5 right and minus something you cannot tell what will be the sign of the answer suppose it is 3 you will get plus 2 suppose it was minus 8 right you would get minus 3 so here the sign depends upon the value of the numbers right but for multiplication it's always constant plus into plus is plus minus into minus is plus and plus into minus is minus now to understand factors and multiples let us take an integer right Let's take 60, right? Now, if I ask you, give me two numbers which when multiplied will give you 60. Most of you will say 6 and 10, right? 6 tens are 60. Now, some of you may even say 4 and 15, which is also right. Some 30 into 2, and some extra smart people will say 60 and 1. Now, all of these answers are correct, right? And from here, we will understand what are factors. So, factors are basically integers which when you divide this by you will get a whole number you're not going to get any remainders you're not going to get any ugly numbers like 5.44 nothing of that sort you're only going to get a perfect integer right now if we list out the factors for 60 you will get 1 2 3 you get 4 you get 5 you get 6 you get 10 you get 12 you get 15 you get 20 you get 30 and you will get 60 now something that is tested on the gre is whether you realize that 60 is a factor of itself how to test if it is a factor just divide it take this number your number and divide it by the one which you think is a factor right i am not sure if 60 is a factor so if i divide it by 60 1 is an integer so 60 is a factor of 60 now they will test and they'll see if you remember that if 1 and 60 are factors of 60 which they are now As I said, integers are the positive numbers and the negative numbers. So, by definition, even these are all factors of 60. Goes on till minus 60. Now, in the GRE, just to trick you, they will just say factors. When they say factors, you are supposed to consider the whole list, unless they specifically say positive, positive factors. If they say positive factors, then just consider from one to 60. If they just say factors, you are assumed to consider this whole list, right? From minus one to minus sixty and plus one to plus sixty. Note, zero is never considered a factor because if you do the simple test, sixty by zero, this violates a law of maths. You cannot divide anything by zero, so zero is never considered a factor. So zero is not considered a factor of any integer, except for zero. But one is considered a factor for everything because anything divided by one is itself. So one is considered a factor for everything, and zero is considered a factor only for zero. Right now, the best way to understand multiples is let's take an integer four, right? 
Now, in school, you've learned your tables. Four ones are four, four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, four fours are sixteen, and so on and so forth. What you're basically doing is you're multiplying four into one, two, three, four, and so on. These are the list of positive integers. Now, if you multiply four by negative integers like minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on, you would get minus four, minus eight, minus twelve, minus sixteen, and so on and so forth. So this list is all your positive multiples of four. and this list is defined as your negative multiples of 4 don't forget that 0 is also considered an integer so if you multiply 4 into 0 or anything into 0 basically you're going to get 0 so 0 will always be a multiple of any number so if you have to say what are the multiples of 4 you will say it's this list which goes on to plus infinity this will go on to minus infinity and your 0 so 0 is a multiple for all integers but 1 is a multiple only for plus 1 and minus 1 All right. So this is part one on the lectures on GRE arithmetic section, where we looked at what are integers, what are their properties, factors, and multiples. In my next video, I'll be looking at GCD, LCM, even and odd integers. If you found these lectures helpful, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. These lectures are completely free, and I do them for the benefit of students. So download them, share them, give it to your friends, and do whatever you can to spread the knowledge. Cheers. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get access to all my videos. I release new lectures every Thursday. Cheers.